Come on, stupid. Quit playing. Ah, oh, jack your ass up. I think both those rivets, this thing's gonna have a flat piece of metal. We'll take off the first one and see if it moves. Yeah. If not, the second rivet in, we'll have to get that because I'm sure that thing's gonna slide in behind that skin. He said those just pop off, they're just a cap. He said it's just a pop rivet and then that's a cap that goes over it. That's what he told me, he should probably drill the pop rivets out. Pop the cap off and then get in that. Hopefully, like I said, I don't know, I'm gonna get the rosebud torch. Uh, what torch did we use last time? We tried to get them out. Did I use the, the cutting torch or did I just use a little propane torch? I think we used that little propane. So I'm gonna get a rose, the rosebud torch. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's got a plan over here. You might have to round yeah, that off a little bit. Yeah, it's mushroom. Oh, I'll beat the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah, it's mushroom. But we'll take a grinder and clean that back up. But I couldn't get them out of here. I mean. Motherfuckers were in there, but I'll put that rosebud torch on, put some heat on that thing, get that thing to expand a little bit. You know, heat this piece up right here, see if I can get that collar to expand. And uh, because, like I said, we had I had what to up, take, apart. Right. take the back of the cylinder, slide Tell the back cylinder off, on. and then I shoot the part right here. Right here? And yeah, the there's down. a cylinder inside this casing. She got, she got a leak, big leak. So we got, we got to fix that today. But like I said, we're gonna lift this door up first. Make sure that pin across there isn't got bolts in it. I don't think it does, because um, I've never seen bolts in it. I'm sure it's a rod all the way through. So that means I have to cut the cap off one side. Might as well just be that side there. I'll cut that cap off, slide that rod out, and then we'll drop this gate, and then we'll go inside this wiring right here in this box. Take this box apart right here and unwire all the wiring. The only things in here, this is a self-contained unit. This hydraulic oil here is self-contained for the tilt cylinders. So there'll be no hydraulic oil in this gate because it's all inside the unit here. The only other thing is gonna be your wire. It's gonna be your electrical wire. We need to take a picture of that. It's gonna be for your gate swing up and your taillights that are in the back of the door. Just gonna have to unwire everything and then you have to wire it back up. So maybe we'll get lucky there'll be some connectors, but I doubt it. I doubt it. This trailer was built in 2007. <laughs> This is, a, this is our millionaire professional trailer that was built in 2007 that's 14 years old that uh, I have less in my whole rig than those motherfuckers got in their toters out there. Yeah, for real. <laughs> One more time millionaires over here. What? See, Mur you, see Murder Nova's get. new rig? That's what you get when you're professional, huh? Did you see Murder Nova's new rig? It's because he's professional. It's he's, nice. He got fucking cha-ching. Chuck even got a new rig. He's professional. He has a new driver at every race. New driver? Every race, different driver. Well, no, no. It's that but that, new that, 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 yeah, that's sponsored to him, that yeah. semi. No, so no. he gets a different semi, or they sponsor it to him. Professional. I ain't mad at that part. No, can't be mad at that. Can't be it. mad at that part. That's nice. We're, we're just, uh, we're running our semi professional yes. rig. Yes. <laughs> semi professional. It's all rotted out. <laughs> Fucking old bitch leaks. That's how I know. It gets us from one end to the other. Did you hey. see Jim Howe's new rig? No. Oh yeah, he got a big old 56 foot rig too now. No. Oh yeah, just posted yesterday. Show him a picture. That bitch is nice. Professionals. Professionals. That's what happens when you get I that money. I talked to him last night. He'll be, in, he'll be in Wesley Chapel today. So Who? Jim and them. Why are they in Wesley Chapel? I come hang out with Amanda's family. So oh. they're gonna I told him we'd go eat lunch or something. Well mother we're gonna do that. We can't go eat breakfast. Yeah. We're not eating breakfast, are we? You um, just said. I didn't say shit. Oh, well then, might as well break out some tools, put your camera yeah, away. I didn't do it. I ain't putting the camera away. The camera's what's got it going on. Professional. 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 Hey, that's how I do, man. I'm glad Jim oh, and them. Yeah, Jim nice. and them, they've been hey, traveling yeah. a lot. Did they keep the RV then? Oh, I don't know. I don't, so, man is going to be RV and Jim's going to be big rigging. Yeah. But you know, those dudes do. They work hard. They're not near to the level of the real professionals out there. Is that how you say it? Professional? 
professional. We'll be there one day. We'll get paid. All right, you ready to get started with this? Yeah. I'm dreading it already. Shit, I would rather go breakfast. That's what I'm going to do. Well, let's go eat breakfast then. All day, we don't stop. That's yeah, right. Get this done. How long That's we got you for, B? About one o'clock. Kyle, he's leaving. You got me at about four, four thirty. Well, if we can't. And I'm leaving at three. In four or five hours. I got. Whatever's here, we'll finish it tomorrow. I gotta go shoot a podcast, so I'm leaving at three. I, and my end, I don't give a fuck. Podcast? The door gets off, and gets on. You do one. Need to, you may be the one that's more. Today. Oh. The girls? Yeah. All right. V said I can stay till three. Never mind. We're good. V said I can stay till three. <laughs> Let's go get breakfast. We'll be back here at 9.30. I mean, we can probably make some serious stuff. As long as we just figure out how it comes apart, it's gonna, you know, it, well, it'll come out easy. Well, we can make the door off and we can drive the rig out yeah, there. So what we'll have to do is we'll run the rig out there, take the forklift, slide the cylinders out, and then back the rig back up. But before we unmantle that door, let's back that door up here and block it up right here. <laughs> Believe me, we got well, that, that ain't gonna fuck you getting in and out of nah. the garage with anything, right? Nah. Okay. We got, we got welders and torches. We're gonna figure something out here directly. Yeah. All right, guys, so basically what is going on is we got a leak in the rig. Uh, can't use the lift gate. So what dad was talking about earlier, how the tilt on the, uh, the gate and going up and down is two separate hydraulic cylinders, uh, two separate reservoirs uh, holding in hydraulic oil and everything. So tilting the deck, everything's good. But going up and down, we have a cylinder that's leaking. It has leaked all year, a couple little like drops here and there, hasn't been a big deal. We we said after the season we were gonna fix it. Well, what me and Kyle gonna... came out here to unload the car and it just started just pouring out. I bet you it put out 25 gallons of hydraulic oil in the what, matter of five minutes? Yeah, I said we're saying it's time. Yeah, it's time. it's time to change it. So with the Competition Plus trailer and this being an older trailer uh, made in 2007, it's a little bit difficult. They didn't really, they didn't really plan this out. It's kind of like dealerships, Kyle. Like the dealerships, they don't, or no, I'm not saying not the dealerships, the, the manufacturers. Yeah. They don't think about the people that have to work on the stuff. No, they just, they put, just throw it all in there. They put together the easiest way possible. So we have to today, one, figure out how to get it out. Two, what we're gonna have to do is basically what we come up with a game plan was, is we got these, uh uh jack stands right here They're pretty beefy jack stands because that door probably weighs i'm gonna say that door probably weighs five six thousand pounds somewhere by itself but we gotta we gotta jack the door up we gotta make sure it's all right then we're gonna go ahead and uh cut the bar that connects the door to the bottom of the trailer once we do that we're able to get the wiring done all the cylinders undone we're gonna pull the rig away from the door so the door is actually gonna sit here until we get done then when we do that, then we gotta do the hard part. Hard part is trying to figure out how we can get inside the channels. It's a square box tube channel. We gotta cut it out with a torch. We're gonna we're we gotta do some engineering today. It's gonna be pretty difficult. Um, but uh, some redneck engineering. Yeah, we'll get done. definitely redneck engineering. But we gotta get inside there because the cylinders. Actually, Kyle, look at it real quick. Right, come over here. Let's just show. You. So this channel right here inside there is a big cylinder kind of like this but twice as big this whole channel has to go out the top it can't go out the bottom because well you got the ground and the cylinder is six foot tall by itself so we got to take the door off take everything off hold it up pull the rig away and then we got to make us some kind of deal that's going to be able to grab that channel plus the cylinder and take it all the way out the top mm. so we're hoping the forklift goes that high today I guarantee I won't be up on top of the forklift up there trying to do it. We're gonna leave that one up to Brian because Brian is not scared of heights. No. Justin's been fast in the car, but Justin does not like heights. I Let can't do know free now. standing heights. Roller I, coasters and shit where I'm strapped in, I'm good. But Kyle I'm just, knows about roller coasters too. I was scared as hell out there. I just said, I can, I hate heights. When I go to hotels, I like I, I was just in Miami last week and we had a balcony. And so like, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna face my fears. So I walked out on the balcony and I looked over and I'm like 12 floors up from the top. Mm. Dude, my, I froze. 
There was nobody else in the hotel room. I was just holding on to the ledge and I froze. I sat there for, I bet you, two, three minutes with my eyes closed. I didn't know what to do. I was just gone. Cause like, I think about the worst thing possible. Like what if the wind picked me up and threw me over? It's good to be. So, I mean, it's probably not possible, yeah, but, little, little that. but I'm just saying, so that, that deal there. But anyways, we're gonna let Brian go ahead and do that. Um, he looks ready. Yeah, he's getting ready. We're gonna back the rig up. We're gonna get the gate down and we're gonna see what the process is like today. What you think, Brian? Coming into the new year? Hell yeah, let's go do it. That's when I'm ready. Well, we already got issues with the trailer. Yeah, that's in that special. It's all, you know, we ain't working on it. So if I go down and do this, every color can just, just connects to each other. Blue to blue, yellow to yellow, orange to orange. We'll wait till Dad gets over here. Cause what did I tell y'all when he came out here? He was gonna yell at us. He was gonna he yell. Something wrong. To, um, Even but, when you think you do something right, yeah, like we're doing great, you go, no, no you man. got fucking oil. Yeah, oil, fuck, we oil on the fucking tire. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're starting off the new year great. Yeah, we ain't working on a fucking race car. We're working on a fucking goddamn race rig. I mean, plain and simple. So, but hey, we're doing good. We're, we're together, you know. I mean, that's what makes it special. We're making memories. Yeah. Making memories. Now this is the way to do it. It's just the only way I'm gonna be able to get this wire off because I gotta undo all these, but they all go color to color, so it's not that bad. I know, but we need to take a picture before y'all oh, start yeah, looking no. everything. I am, but this is because then that red wire goes to the solenoid one. See, green. I put that weather pack on that other one. See how that is right yeah, there? That's what we need to do right there. Yeah, there. that that didn't used to be down there like that. That's nice. That's Me, nice. Hey, in case it ever has to come apart. That's a great job there. Well, well, I'll help you fix that one too. So. Hell yeah. We're gonna put a weather pack on that one. Yeah. In so case they, we ever have to take this apart again? Yeah. Which one are you talking about, Kyle? This one right here. Is With all the wires. Oh, yeah, for the lights, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, that's the only way to do it, man. You stupid motherfuckers. They, I mean, ain't like you got to take this shit apart. Hey, how long have weather packs been around? Like, Dude, for a for, long time. Like 30 years, right? Anyway, just take a picture of the one to the pump because we already had it out. Yeah. I put that weather pack on there in case for <laughs> case of right now. Yep, and it's literally... Boop. Take a picture of it, though, just in case. No, I am. We gotta get the trailer fixed, Brian. That only goes one that way. That one only goes one way. But we'll put a weather pack We gotta get the trailer fixed too. so we can go test. And if we ever have to do that. We'll cars over at Cameron Johnson's right now. I'll just look at that. So getting updated. Go New cars getting well, worked should, on. Should, you should have a white, a brown. Is, a is it on the jig? Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Blue, orange, brown, red, yellow, and black. Or gray. It should only have green, yellow, and brown. I don't know what the else they got going back there. That's all it should be. Oh, oh, yeah. th those other ones are for those white, those the white, lights. Yeah, the white lights. Yeah, the white lights. Yeah. The trailer lights are going to be. Uh, We're just going to put a weather pack yellow on. Yellow and uh, green, yellow, and brown. We might just have to play around with it. If it don't work when we hook it back up, we'll switch no, the wires around. Doing that, no, it's easy, bro. It's easy. Color to color, blue to blue. Well, let's take a picture. Orange. Let's take a picture of it, and then send me a picture too, in case your phone gets crashed. The only people phones that get crashed out here is well, yours. Spread them out now. Is that so the, is that the Android phone that gets yeah. crashed all the time? Can What's you, he on? Like number six or seven lay, for, lay for a whole big, year? Pussy. Oh, you can look at how, many, how many phones you had in a year to this year, buddy? Well, I get you know, a new phone every year. But I'm hey, just saying, that's part just of my plan. That's your deal. That's yeah. how I lay it open like that big fat girl he said he was earlier when he came. <laughs> I said she was about a nice 200. It wasn't too fluffy. You said 250. Max. How'd you lose 50 pounds 50, 20 minutes ago? 250 was my max. I Did said she was 250 about 215, pounds? 220. Sure, why not? I'm gonna say Kyle. Yeah, that. Hey, they all need loving too. There ain't no reason to discriminate. Us big boys need loving. I ain't never had a big woman you, in my life. I, I always figured I'm big enough for the both of us. Hell, my <laughs> wife is. My wife is probably five foot seven, hundred forty pounds. She's probably the biggest woman I've ever been with. Your life may change. You never know. But you never know. Yeah. No, you never know. Bye. Ah! The f you doing, Kyle? That's why. I, I knew it was coming. That bitch I knew it was coming. That bitch jumped. Why'd you jump that for her? I like seen it. the camera. That bitch I knew it was coming. Do you see the camera? Cause it. Hey! Hey! Yeah, that bitch jumped like a little girl. Hey! Will you, get me a, will you get me a half inch wrench and a wrench it? Hey, unwrap that around there. Pull that on top. Take it out from underneath them hydraulic lines. Uh, We're getting somewhere now. But six and a half hours later. All right, Kyle, go ahead and pull it down. Hey. See all that rust? Where's that from? Up Not new. Not a million dollar rig. That's for Ryan Mark. Not Marcus. professional. 
Yeah, not professional. In this watch your bucket there. Pick up. Watch that. Uh, Don't let the pole Watch out for the, the torches. Watch out for the torches. I'm just looking at Kyle. Don't let this fold I'm on you. Just lay it Watch down. Watch out for Kyle. the torches. Don't let that thing fold on you. Dad, they didn't even pull the tape off the aluminum. Nah, you don't have to. Pick up your ass. What well, bitch is kind of looking like? I said that thing's probably going to have some weight to it. Oh, <laughs> we didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> we got to take that panel off, B. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> we got it, Justin. You got it? Yeah, we got it. Right, What's your name? Val. Val? Hey, Val, we're shooting a video. <laughs> right on. Hell yeah. In our video. Val, fuck around here. We'll have him tear apart back of the trailer. Yeah, we got to take the panel off the trailer. I can tear it apart. We, did, can we didn't accomplish a damn thing there. We got to take that panel off. How do you figure? How do you get to the front? Oh, yeah, this whole panel got to come off. We're going to run out of drill bits. We're in for it now, boys. <laughs> Holy shit. We did accomplish a damn thing. <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna drill a hole saw through that panel is what I'm gonna do. I ain't taking that whole panel off. Thank you. Ain't happening. Amen, brother. B, what you think? Uh, Hell yeah. I say uh, we took that all off for nothing. Yeah. Hell yeah. I got one mounted up. Can we could just yeah. hole saw it right there. We could have hole saw. We could have hole saw through the aluminum too. I don't understand why we had to spend the last three hours trying to get that off. And break 10 drill bits. But according to YouTube, it only took 10 seconds. So we're good. We did a good job. Day two. That one's going to come easier. Wait, that one's Watch that head though. Head's hot. Hot, hot head. Hot head. Yeah. Hot head. Ooh. Put it on the tip of your paper. Ooh. Ooh, put, put it right on the tip. Ooh. Right, right side of it? Right, like, right side or left? Yeah, the sizzling. Left side or right side? Right side. Right side, okay. Ooh, that'd be brand new. I give you $500 to put that shit on the right side right now. Motherfucker had to go home and get another pair of pants. <laughs> Alright, bitch, I had to die of a heart attack because I'd be fucking running like a motherfucker. You'd be chasing me. What you got going on, bitch? Ah, shit, I'm hungry. Working away, you know. Trying to get That's this trailer. That, no, I wouldn't do that to you. Um, Who's cars in there? Just trying. Uh, just some guy we know. It's a big it's a dud, man. Fucking piece of shit. Fucking slow. Turtle. You know, dud. So, <laughs> think junk. Danny gonna beat your ass. Junk. Game? Looks good. Game's Look, gonna drive the look, car. Looks good, but it ain't fast and it's slow as a turd. So if we were professional with a million dollar rig, oh, we'd probably just take this up and have somebody pay the ten grand and have somebody do this, wouldn't Yeah, we wouldn't oh, do this by yeah, ourselves. Sure. Look, we hey, you know, we're we're full on professional Hello. race team around here, you know? What up? Full on professional. Thirty four inches, that's how big it is? With a big tire, like a right eye for big tire, and with a small tire because it does get. I got so you said you said 34 inches, right? Yep. Like like three three four. This is stupid. Three four. Yeah. What was the other hey. one? Tell them just to measure center to center on the other shaft. Dad said measure center to center on the other shaft, and we can see what's going on. All right. Uh, where's the other shaft at, Troy? Hey, so I'm I'm gonna write this down. So you, you're make it, you're for sure. It's three four. Three four. They're not gonna be some oblong fucking measurement, right? Three four. Brian, you hear that? Three, he four. said he said three four. Three four. Three four. I want to hear you say it again, Cameron. Three four. Right now you got thirty four center to center. Thirty four center to center. Right now yeah. on the old one. On, on the, the old one. one. So then there's a difference of two and seven eighths. Huh? There's a difference of two and seven eighths because that's what I'm fixing to cut off that shaft he just measured. Yeah, so the new shaft will be two and seven eighths inch shorter. That's right. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, put the, so now you can go ahead and put the other rear end in the car, right? Yeah, we're taking this one out now. All right. I would fucking. Uh, now nah, we'll do it. You think it'll be easy? 
Will it be hard to take that gear out while it's out on the ground? Um, no. no. Okay. Well, no, because you're taking you're taking the brakes and everything off the outside to put yeah, on the other rear end. Right. I got you. So no, it'll be fine. All right. Yeah, do that, and then when you get done, send me photos. Uh, I mean, I can send you a picture of the big tire in there where it's at now. Now, yeah, do that. I want to see that. Hey, so you said you said 34, right? 34, Troy. 34 from the seal to the center of the rear end. Right? You bet it ain't it ain't gonna be 43. It's 34. 34. 34 inches. 34. Three before the four. Not 43, that'd be too long. 34. You sure it's not 35? It's, it's possible. Okay, so just, I mean, you better double check. I, just, I, just no. I measure with my pecker 12 times. Well, well I, 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 know, I know you know you're, you're a little cross-eyed. You got them glasses and shit now. Playing, so. but we need torches again. Hell yeah. All right, I got it. Send me some photos of it. See ya. All right, bye. You got to mess with them every now and then. All right, what you doing? Work. Art's going bald, guys, so now he's trying to grow his hair out. Oh, all right. take your hat off. Show them how bald you get. Yeah. Bald. Yeah. Dude told me the other day that I'm going to go bald. I said, you know my dad? My dad got great hair. I got fucking great hair. Look at that thing. I got great. I'm not going bald no time soon. Bye. Dad, are you bald at all? Brian, you bald? Oh, yeah. Brian, bald as shit. Look, look, look at that. Look at that um, 20 head right yeah. there. It's not a forehead no more. Why didn't you turn the damn bottles on? Man, you fuck up a wet dream. My question to you is, why didn't, why didn't this get down yesterday? Why am I here? Because you can't fish. That's why you're here. I mean, what's that? No, I can't fish. Nah. You think you can. I could be fishing right now. You, you could be boat. sitting in a boat right now. Get it right. You can't fish. <laughs> He'd be sitting in a boat. I got fish in pretty hard to watch. Mark photoshopped his fish on it. Mark catch a two pounder and thought he'd set the world on fire. No, Art, Art fish is a lake that stocked fish. There's, so, there's only one house on the whole lake. So they went to the pet store and got all the fish. Oh yeah, they got all the fish, put them in there. They got feeders at the end of the dock that make them grow. So a bit. basically what you're saying is it's not really real fishing. No, no. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah. He makes him feel better. Do you think he goes home and fucking rubs one out to it? Oh, sure I caught does. me a six pounder. Sure he does. Six, a six pounder. That's gotta be hot. We got this side off over here, dude. Yeah, sure did. We're working along with it. We're gonna get this cylinder off, then dad and them gotta hit that pin out over there. And then we're gonna get the other side and we're gonna pull the rake forward and that's when we're gonna to try to get the cylinders and everything out. Dan, how much they charge to do this? 10 grand, huh? Eight, eight to 10,000 what the time so when they say eight to 10, it's 10. It's gonna be 10,000? Yeah. Can I turn this off? I like a hard number, anything I do. When I bid a job, I gotta to put together a hard number. I don't go tell somebody it's gonna be 10 to 20. It's either gonna be 10 or it's gonna be 20, you know what I mean? So you're saying it's gonna be a $10,000 bill. Anybody tells you that, they get that extra, just know that that big number's coming. But, and honestly, I understand why. Because everything's gonna take, and then you gotta get them things out the top of this thing. You gotta have a land dog, a forklift, or something. I'm hey, hit it, hit, it, hit it into my hand. Yeah, go ahead. You won't be holding that camera no more. Looks like I need to be hitting it with my purse. I don't know what's got going on. L luckily, the good thing about it is we have a shop. We can do this kind of stuff here at the house. But. <laughs> It's moving. Where's that pipe you got? Right there. All right, you got a pipe right here that's going to be better to hit on. Just going to fold it up. I mean, but let it fold. It's still a heavy wall pipe. It'll take some abuse. Now, if you want to hold that, I'll get on there with that slow hammer. I'll go to work. Man, look how much better that thing looks now. Hey, give him that other hammer. Give him the other hammer. He gets, he gets mass on that hammer right there. Right behind you, Art. You swing out. Right there on the ground, Art. Or let me get up right here and some, Art. You hold it, I'll hit it. All right. <laughs> I just hit my own hand, just so you know. Let's get it. You take the glass off, you better see better. Good. Is it moving? 
Yeah, it ain't moving. Fuck, I need it again. Fuck, be stubborn. Why are you breathing so hard? Pops and Art but were waking it, and baking. If it was me, I would just drop the chain. Put your fork right here. Hook a chain right in the bottom of that tube. And then get it up there. I'll come over tomorrow. Night. What do you mean bottom of the tube though? Hook your hook your hook in the bottom of this tube. Oh. This whole tube. Come on, the slide tube. Yeah. I'll come help y'all tomorrow. The then I'll go fishing. Team player. You got until about nine o'clock. But how we how we gonna manhandle that thing? We'll get it off. We gotta dog it off. That's it. Oh yeah, stroke it. Come on, stupid. Quit playing. Ah, jack your ass up. It's, it's coming. Thing? It's in there a foot, foot in about oh, wait, 14 inches. <laughs> Hydraulic oil coming out of there? Yep. That's what our problem is. Yep. Be nice if we get that pop wrench on there. Right there. That thing's probably still a little hot. Be. You gotta tighten it down because I had it adjusted with a sleeve on. It's a hump. Oh, really need like a 10 pound or 15 pound slide hammer or something that can do some damage. That fucking five pounder ain't doing no in your hand up. Where'd well, you get one of those at? Some studs on it, put some lead on it. A few minutes later. Still moving? Yeah, it's still moving. Where'd, where'd the little boy blue go? Hey. Yeah. Well, that shit burning. Fucking woo it. Blasters? It's ah. It's gotta be about six inches in there still. Like I said, now I know why they want ten thousand dollars to take this door off. If I was rich, then I'd be a millionaire. Professional.
barn again? No, it's moving three or two. some of them to come. Yeah, yeah. Anybody want to come? Have, anybody if we had if we had 100 people lined up. Yeah. Anybody want to come help? We'd well, really appreciate it. We put the floor jack underneath this end and pick up that so it ain't leaning so hard. You see what I'm saying? Just yeah. That floor jack. It's all floating. It's, all floating in there. it's getting stuck inside this. It's, it's almost out. It's yeah. not stuck in there. Almost it's out. stuck in there. Screw that back in. Beater. Brian, what happened to Art? You know, doing four and a half hours. 45 seconds. Just get this motherfucker. Let's go. Come on, get after that motherfucker. I'll roll the tires. Thanks a lot. Hey boss, what is that? That's New York City right there at its finest. All them salt ass roads and bullshit. Yeah, Brian, New York for a while. Shooting off and hit me, is it? No, I ain't seen nothing. Something hit me. Yeah. It will. A piece of that metal's fucking shooting off there and hit me in the stomach. Either that and a piece of the hammer is. I've already had this happen to me before. Something shooting off and hit me in the stomach. Alright. Right there, see that clean piece of metal? Did it move any? Yeah, it moved, yeah. Is that gonna go all the way up and take that out? We're you got about another three foot to go? Yeah. It'll be fine. Easy, easy, easy now. Come on, nice and slow. There you go. It's out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. EAR, you're coming unraveled. All right. Let me set it down first so you can handle it. There you go. 
Right, it's all you, it. boss. Lift it up, back up here. Chuck your forks back. Yep. I'm glad Art's up there because I, I don't do heights. I'd have been freaking out. Hey, I'd have been freaking out out there. Look at you. I don't do heights. So all I had to do was just show up for moral support. Yeah, yeah, moral support. Yeah, it's just what we needed. See what happens when I come here? Right, you get shit done. That's you. No. I still got to get that motherfucker out of that case. I can't take that to them like that. They yeah. don't want to fuck with yeah, yeah. What you think about the job? It's fucking motherfucker. Get yourself. You think it's going to be just as hard going back in or no? No, it'll be a little easier. But you don't ever who them people are in Texas that build these. That's why they charge 10 grand to do that. Yeah. This is our second fucking day. Three guys. We're not counting you as the fourth. So you got to get the whole casing and everything out. I would think, wouldn't it be easy to zip around the nut and bust the nut off? The, the nut is threaded on top of the rock. Professional. I wish I was professional. Professional, you know, do it yourself. Is that, was, is that about what? You I wish I was rich. I would never have tackled this job on this trailer. Uh -huh. But I'm not professional, and I'm not fucking rich, so I have no choice but to do what we're doing. Because I can't pay ten thousand dollars to have them cylinders taken out of that truck. But I can. <laughs> Spend the day with a couple of my buddies far, and get it done. So you're saying you're professional, do it yourself? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Hey, hey. Always, my hey. Dad always told me. What you been up to today, man? I was over at Cameron's this morning. I was uh, getting the stuff situated over there. They're doing some maintenance on the car. Get some stuff fixed. Hey, what's coming in in FedEx? What do you got? I mean, be this so goddamn poor woman got to break down her own tire. Trailer tires, yeah, look at that. Yeah, tires my own we shit. Can't pay a motherfucker to do that. Yeah. So, uh, what you got coming in on FedEx? Something? That ain't me. A, a Chinese secret or something? Probably one of his dad's shit. I'm too broke to order anything right now. You're you're broke too? Yeah. yeah. Where'd that other nut go off of that one? Um, it's sitting there on that pallet. And I would not leave them nuts on no, the No, I'm gonna go put them in the jug. Yeah, I'm putting them, I'm gonna go put them in the jug. I'm gonna go no, normally we rebuild them cylinders ourselves, but because that's a two-stage cylinder, because it's inside there, I'm gonna probably just take it on down to the cylinder shop, let them do it, make sure everything's right tight. Our buddy George from Fisher Hydraulic gonna hook I us up. You, this is way too much work to take the floor off again. <laughs> if they fucking leave, I'll probably just take the whole trailer down there to them and tell them, here you go guys, yeah. fix your cylinders. Yeah. I think I'll say. Back out. Back out. Hey, see if that line on the side's busted, buddy, or is it coming out the top? Can't push it in. Well, it's coming out the top. You can see all the oil going down it. That's hard. Yeah. Well, there we go. And that's what. Damn, 
drives, huh? That damn professional forklift driver out there, son. Put that thing over. I bitch was getting her. Professional DIY. Professional DIY right there. See now, if we just had a regular bumper pole trailer with just a regular gate, we'll be doing all this. Did, did you get to see our rusted out million dollar rig? I think yeah. Ryan Martin said we had when he went and photoed it the first season. Hmm. What year is that thing? 07? 07. Ryan Martin's Toter Home costs more than that whole fucking rig does. Whole rig. You can buy an 05 Toter Home right now for about, I'm sure Ryan's is newer than that, but they're probably around 250 right now just for a yeah, uh -huh. That ain't counting that goddamn stacker he's got. Now no, that stacker he's got, that's 250. Ryan Martin's rig is minimum 500, minimum. So, a lot of them got it though. Get all so, this shit put up, Justin. I ain't mad at them though. So, right, no, it, no, it ain't bad it. at all. I just gotta get up and go to work every day and get mine. Yeah. It is what it is. But we'll ride it out. We'll fix, we'll fix hey. it. Trust fun. Hey, sir. Trust fun. All right. I'm waiting to see the trailer in the back. Dude said there, he goes, he said, you keep acting like the way you're acting on the show. He goes, the money's going to walk out, run out fast. I said, no. Nah. <laughs> that's all done. Who, who's mine? Who's giving us mine? I said the tree in the backyard is 69 feet tall. It's okay. <laughs> he blocked me. I'm just saying, what money though? Where, where is that? Where are you coming from? Trying to figure out too. Comes from comes from us doing all of us as a group doing this right here. And that's where the money comes from. My hands are so cramped. Oh right my now. my wrist. My shoulder. I feel like I got arthritis. This is what y'all feel like when y'all are old. Cause mm -hmm. I feel like my hands are are kinked up. Yeah, my shoulder. Oh, we. So no. yeah, but anyway, like I said, we're shut down and we're on vacation right now for a company. And this is what we're doing. Yeah. Working. But we were. Camera's doing updates on the car right now. Hey, fix that. No, um, we got the rear end out of the car because we're sending it off to have it updated as well. Uh, Cameron's wow. updating the, the doors, the windows. He's getting everything fixed. You all tell the body. About my little deal? Oh, he's putting that on there. Okay. Uh, trying to see what else. We will be getting, uh, we're going to be running uh, U.S. Nationals at the end of January, and then we're taking the car back over to Cameron's uh, to get everything finalized. Then we will be getting the car painted, getting ready for a PK season. You mean I'm gonna have some paint to play yeah, with? We're, paint, we're painting the car. Hell so, yeah. So uh, we'll get it painted, and then by that time, we should have some more updates on the new car uh, going from there. She's on the jig, though, the new car, right? Not yet. No? no. Not on the jig yet? That uh, new car your daddy's building you? Yeah, the new car my dad's building me is. Uh, no, I thought your mom was building you this one. Somebody's building it for me. Okay. Um, but. Uh, yeah, uh, it'll go on the jig next week. So we'll be able to, by the time this video goes out and by the time we're, we're, we're getting a part of the process, we'll be able to start getting videos over at Cameron's. Uh, been staying away from over there, just getting all the parts in, getting everything done. We got about 80% of the parts there, so it should go pretty fast just because everything will be there. So Good deal. getting ready for it. Hell yeah. That's all you got? Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. You got anything else? I'm ready to go eat. My name, you know. I knew that gate was going to be a first class motherfucker. <laughs> I knew when we started, I knew it was going to be a bitch. It is what it is, though, man. It sucks, but. We well, think it'll go back together that hard? No, it'll go together easy. So that's a, as long as we got to do all the prep work making it that, go back that easy. That deal wouldn't have been so bad. They, they could have made it a lot better. Yeah, like if it had grease fittings where you can grease all of them pinpoints. And then access holes where you can get to that stuff, it wouldn't have been so bad. But the problem is, the shit was so locked up in there, the pins were locked up, and all the torching, you know, and beating and slide hammering, all that, that's what made it bad. <laughs>